hello students today we discuss about the life cycle of sphagnum in previous video we have already discussed about the reproductions in the sphagnum there are three types of reproduction takes place vegetative sexual and asexual the vegetative reproduction is takes place in sphagnum by the innovations that means the special branches are arises from this sphagnum plant and they will be grow as a new plant if any the mechanical disturbances so uh, these uh, in sphagnum the vegetative reproduction takes place by the innovations then this sphagnum plant having the two distinct generation that is gametophytic or sporophytic generation so let discuss about the gametophytic generations so in this uh, sphagnum the dominant generation is the gametophytic generations and recessive the sporophytic generation in gametophytic generation is in a sphagnum gametophyte is in haploid stage and in that the special branches are arises and they forms the female gametophyte and male gametophyte this female gametophyte produces the archegonium and male gametophyte produces antheridia when this archegonium will mature they produces the egg cells and antheridium produces the anthrodes which is in haploid stage when these uh, anthridium uh, will be mature they will be dehiscence and the anthrodes will be moves out so these anthrodes will be swims in water to search out the archegonium when these archegonium uh, will be dehiscence the uh, chemotactis will be in takes place in sphagnum so these anthrodes enter in the archegonium through these uh, leads or cover cells and they can fuse with the egg cells and they form the zygote so zygote is the um, beginning stage of these uh, sporophytic generations or a uh, sexual reproduction so the zygotes will be grow as a sporophyte in the sporophyte there is the sporophytic body will contains the fruits and the capsule and the seta will be in absent so this sporophyte capsules contains the spore mother cells when the spore mother cells undergoes the meiosis they forms the spores which is again in haploid stage the sporophyte will be in diploid stage after the meiosis they form spore which is in haploid stage these spores they form the suitable conditions they will be grow as a sporophyte uh, sorry they will be grow as a gametophyte so again the gametophytic generations will be start so in this way the sporo gametophytic and sporophytic generations will be takes place in the plant sphagnum so this is about the life cycles of the sphagnum plant in that the uh, two distinct generations will be observed that is gametophytic and sporophytic the gametophytic generations will be dominant and sporophytic generations will be recessive stage